Do you need to beat a game in order to enjoy it? A very relevant question, I'd say, because if we're being honest, a lot of us have games that we have not finished. The thing is, it's a lot easier to start a game than it is to finish a game. Naturally, I'd say it's pretty reasonable to pop a game in for a little bit and have a good time with it. After all, that's one of the best things about retro games is the quick pick up and play nature of them where you can just fire up that game, play it for a little bit, have a blast, and then you're off to whatever you're doing next. So in my opinion, the question really becomes, do you need to beat a game in order to fully enjoy it? But then what about something like fighting games? If somebody said they beat this fighting game, you'd immediately think, well, what the heck does that even mean? Like you made it through the arcade mode once? That takes like, what, 20 minutes or something? That's not really the point of fighting games. Fighting games are more about playing them either for fun or to get better at, or goodness forbid, both of those things at the same time without really any set defined end in mind. Quick little story for you. I have this one friend who was really into Super Smash Brothers. Not as much anymore. Him and them had kind of a big messy breakup. Uh, I don't want to get into that. But at one point, I remember checking how many hours he had logged into Super Smash Brothers, and it was over 200. Now, would he say that he's beaten the game? No, he wouldn't say that he's beaten the game until he's holding that first place trophy at Evo. And then what about games that are difficult to beat? Something like, say, Battletoads. Now, Battletoads is a game that I still haven't personally beaten yet. I've gotten really far. Uh, what I do with that game is every two or three years, I play it again and I usually get a little bit further than the last time I played it and as of now I'm up to like stage 9 or 10 something like that and there's 13 stages so I'm getting there the point is I have had a lot of fun playing Battletoads even though I haven't beaten it yet every time I play it I enjoy getting better at those stages that used to give me trouble and then trying to figure out how to get farther into the game and make it past those later stages that I wasn't able to get past before. If I'm being honest with myself, as much as I've gotten a ton of enjoyment out of Battletoads, I think I'd be lying if I tried to say I've fully maximized my enjoyment with the game. I don't think that can happen until I've beaten the game because I know when that day comes, it's gonna feel really good. Now, what about after I've beaten the game, then what? Well, for a lot of us, once we beat a game, that's the end of it. You just put it away and forget about it. Focus on different games that you haven't beaten yet. What's interesting about what I'm doing with Battletoads is that because I have not beaten the game yet, there's always that incentive to come back to it again. Now, in theory, once you've beaten a game like that, then you could just probably blast right through the game again in one sitting because you're going to be really good at the game if you've managed to figure out how to beat it one time. That's what's great about retro games is that because of their uh, shorter length and quick pick up and play nature, it's very easy to play through them again. So basically what you have is a game, say any given game, with a wide scale of how much you can enjoy it with beating the game just being one of the points along the journey. You can enjoy the game a lot before you've beaten it and you can enjoy the game even more after you've beaten it. It all just depends on how much you play it and how much you're getting out of it in that given time that you play it. Some of you could have a game sitting on your shelf that you only ever played for maybe three or four hours, but you had an absolute blast playing it. Maybe you beat the game, maybe you didn't. And that game's sitting on your shelf and every time you look at it, you go, ah, yeah. Those were the good old days when I played that game. And for those people in that situation, it might be that they've maximized their enjoyment with that game. They can't really ask for much more and they can always play it again at some point in the future. That option is always gonna be available to them. All right, now I've got a curveball for you. What if it's a game that you just flat out don't like? And in this situation, actually the more you play the game, the more you are not enjoying yourself. So your level of enjoyment is just decreasing 
the more you play that game. And in those situations, my advice would be to just stop. You don't need to force yourself to play something if you're not enjoying it. There are way too many good games out there and not enough time to play them all to be wasting your time with that. But here's where that gets tricky. How many times have you been playing a game where people say, if you just get to this part, or if you just do it this way, then the game gets good. And you're like, okay, and that's kind of in the back of your head while you're playing the game and you're not having fun playing that game. And it gets to the point where you're like, you know what, I don't care what everybody says. The thing is that can be almost impossible to navigate because your experience will often change throughout a game, but how are you supposed to know that that is going to happen? You don't. You could be having a terrible time with the game and need to play for like 20 or 30 hours before you actually have fun. But when you do get to that point, oh boy, is it a lot of fun. But how are you supposed to know? You could play for 30 hours and then once you get to 30 hours, it still really sucks and you're not having fun and so then you've just wasted 30 hours. Here's a red flag for you. You've just finished a game and the first thought you have is, oh, thank goodness that's over. That's a bad sign that you did not have a good time with that game. Usually when you finish something that you enjoy, you should be thinking, Oh, dang, it's over. I enjoyed it so much. I just wanted it to never end. Something else that I feel is important to bring up is the distinction between beating a game and completing a game. The thing is, a lot of games, even once you reach those end credits, there's still more content that you can uh, find in the game, whether it be extra levels, secrets, different bonus items, things like that. For example, in something like Legend of Zelda, once once you've beaten the game, you can still go back and try to find all the different heart containers, some of the maybe weapons that you missed, things like that. But that about does it for my thoughts. Of course, I'd love to hear what all of you have to say. Do you feel like you need to beat a game in order to enjoy it? Or are you okay just simply having played it a lot or a little? Where on the spectrum do you fall? And I know, heck, there's even people out there who don't need to play a game at all. Just seeing it sitting there on their shelf is enough to light their jollies. So with that, leave your comments down below and I will see you in the next video. He's the Red Cooper, yeah. And he's talking, talking about video games. He's